All right, this is more of a story than just a plain old deer hunt. This is the story of, uh, of John Luke, first year hunter, took his hunter education classes, got them done, got his license, and we're coming up on New Jersey's youth archery season, which allows the youth to have the first chance at the deer before the adults do. And days before that opening day, his dad got in a bad dirt bike accident and was not gonna be able to take him out hunting. He was in a trauma center and he was in there for a while. So, John's wife Melissa gave me a call. Hey, can you take out John Luke and get him on his first hunt? And absolutely, that's what we did. We jumped up in the stand that they had hung in the summer on state game land. He had deer coming in, so we sat there. We saw plenty of deer. We had them coming in, trying to uh, come to a baited area, which is, uh, which is legal here in New Jersey. And uh, we had the deer coming in, but we're talking about state game land deer, very highly educated PhD deer that uh, just trying to play the wind on us and just didn't come in close enough for a shot. Come in looking up in the trees, they know, they know the game. So we weren't able to make it happen, but uh, some friends of mine knew the situation and uh, put us up on a couple deer hunts. So we spent one morning in a ground blind. Uh, we were able to get a shot off at, at some young does that came in. Really only gave the deer a haircut, no blood, no nothing. It was uh, John Luke's first shot at a white tail. I think he punched the trigger and got a little excited. It's fine, it's, real, it's not a wounded deer, deer's gonna live. So uh, we pushed on. He, he got to experience the highs and the lows. So that's deer hunting. Another good friend of mine put us up on a hunt and uh, John Luke's first buck came in and came in at about 20, 20 yards, 25 yards, and uh, took a shot. It was just forward of the vitals. It looked, entry looked good, but I guess he was courting away. It had good blood for about 80 yards, blood stopped. We looked for two days, never found a deer. Again, highs and lows. He's learning what it is to be a whitetail hunter. So we pushed on, had a couple more hunts, just could not get it done. And then youth firearm season came around and it's the same deal. They get the first chance at the deer before the adults and uh, went out for a morning hunt with them. Didn't see any deer, very slow. Took them out for an afternoon hunt and finally, you know, last 10, 15 minutes of daylight, Doe decides she's gonna come out of the swamp and walk right in front of us at 20 yards. And with the slug gun, scope slug gun, John Luke was able to put one right behind the shoulder and uh, maybe at the top of the shoulder because she folded and he had his first deer. All right, we just got set up. I had to put a hang on next to a Millennium Ladder stand. I'll be sitting on a branch tonight. But uh, I wanted to get in that spot. The wind works. It's a nice comfortable stand for John Luke to climb up in safe and get set up. Got a shooting rail. So. dead deer in front of us. Uh, so we're going to slowly pack up, go down and get this deer, and uh, finally, after like six or eight hunts, 
finally came together. All right, first deer down. Great hunt, great story. Learning wasn't over because uh, he had a deer down. So we went back to my truck, got the cart, wheeled it in, loaded her up, and I had John Luke wheel that deer out 300 yards. We loaded it up on my truck, took it home. That's where his, his dad was able to come out and join us and he learned how to gut the animal. And uh, the very next day he skinned his first deer, he boned out his first deer. So he went from not seeing deer and learning the whole world of whitetails to getting it done, butchering it and putting food on the table.